Hello, my name is Christopher Fields. and Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a virtual WAN hub and connect VNets using Terraform. Now, the first thing I wanna note is that I'm using PowerShell in the Azure console to run Terraform, but you can run Terraform in whatever environment you like. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is to navigate to the file where to navigate to the directory where all my Terraform Terraform files are located. So we'll do that. It should look like I'm already here. And as you can see, I have three Terraform files. I have the main.tf file, the vnet.tf file, and the vwan.tf file. And so first, we're going to take a look at the main.tf file in a PowerPoint slide. So here, you can see this is what's in our main.tf file. We have our provider, which in this case is Azure, so it's just Azure RM. We have our curly brackets, and then we have features. We don't need to specify any, specify any features here. And we have our subscription, so subscription underscore ID equals, and then here, and then quotation marks is where you would put your subscription ID for your account. So that's the first thing we want to create in our main.tf file. The next thing we want to create in our main.tf file is we want to create a resource group. And this resource group will be referenced multiple times throughout this example. And so this is what's in it, and this is how it's created. So what you do is you do you, you type resources and in quotation marks it's Azure RM underscore resource underscore groups and then here you're just going to put the local name that Terraform is going to use of this resource group. And so for here let's just make it easy we're just going to call it Terraform. You're going to have your curly brackets and inside your curly brackets you're going to have the name equals and in this case this is the name Azure is going to use for this resource group. And so for here I just decided to call it Terraform-Resource. And then after that we're just going to use the location. And so I'm in the East US but you can use whatever location you like. So it's location equals and then quotation marks East US and then that's it. So those are the two things that are in the main.tf file. Now that we have that out of the way, we can start configuring our VNets. So we're going to move to our VNet.tf file. And as you can see in our VNet.tf file, we have two code blocks. So the first one is to create your VNet, and the second one is to create a subnet. So let's start with creating our VNet. So for there, we call resource, and then we're going to um, call the virtual network. So for here, it's Azure RM underscore virtual underscore network. Have that in quotation marks. And then next in quotation marks is going to be the local name that Terraform uses to reference this virtual network we're creating. I just decided to call it Terraform dash VNet1. And so after that, we're going to have curly brackets and then we're going to have the name. And this, just like in a previous example, this is going to be the name that Azure uses to identify this virtual network. So for here, we're going to have name equals Terraform dash network one. And so now we've named it. And so the other thing we need to do is to specify the location. And so for here, it's location equals. And in here, we're just going to reference the location that was in our resource group that we created earlier. So for that, the only thing we have to do is Azure RM underscore resource underscore group dot Terraform, which is the name of the resource group we created earlier, dot location. And here you go, your location is set. Now what we want to do is we want to actually reference that resource group. So it's resource underscore group underscore name equals Azure RM underscore resource underscore group dot the name of the resource group, which is just Terraform dot name. And so there you go. So you have your name, your location, your resource group, and the only thing left we have to create is the address space. So for here, to do that, it's just address underscore space equals, you have your brackets and then the quotation marks, you put the address space you wanna use. For this virtual network, I just decided to use 10.1.0.0 slash 16. You have that in your brackets and your quotation marks, you end your curly brackets, and this block of code is done. So at this point, you have created your virtual network using Terraform. Now the next thing we want to do is create our subnet. So to do that, we call it resource, and then quotation marks. We're going to have Azure RM underscore subnet, and then in, the, in, the, in quotation marks again, we're going to have the local Terraform name of the subnet. I just decided to call it subnet one. We're going to have our curly brackets, 
And inside our curly brackets, we're going to have name equals, and this is the Azure name like before. We're just going to keep the name the same just to be easy. So I'm not one again. We're going to use that resource group name, which is the same exact code we have before. We can just copy and paste it and bring it down. And then for here, we're going to reference the virtual network we just created. So it's virtual underscore network underscore name equals Azure RM underscore virtual underscore network dot Terraform dash VNet one dot name. And as you can see, this is the exact thing that we created above. And then the only thing now we need here is the specific address space for the subnet. And to do that, it's address underscore prefixes equals you have your brackets and your quotation marks, and you're going to specify the subnet. For here, I just kept the subnet easy as 10.1.1.0 slash 24. You'll enter curly brackets, and there you go. And there you go. You're done with this bnet.tf file. Now we're going to make sure we save our, all our changes and make sure everything's good. So now that that's saved, we have our bnets and we have our subnet. And now what we want to do is connect it to our VLAN hub. Well, we don't have a VNet hub. So let's create one now and then we'll go back and connect this VNet. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our virtual network, our VLAN. And so to do that, we're going to call resource Azure RM underscore virtual underscore WAN. That's in quotation marks. And then here in quotation marks, just like everything else, this is going to be the Terraform name of the WAN we're creating. And so for here, I'm just going to call it Terraform WAN. And in quotation here, we're going to have our curly brackets. And inside our curly brackets, we're going to name it. So name equals, and this is, once again, the Azure name. We're just going to keep it simple, and we're just going to call it Terraform WAN. Now, we're going to use the resource group. And this is the same resource group command that we used in a previous example. So we can just copy and paste that into here. And the location is the same exact location um, code that we used before. So you can just copy and paste that into there. You end your curly brackets and you're done. So at this point, you have created your virtual WAN using Terraform. Now that we have our virtual WAN, we can go on to create our virtual WAN hub. And to, to do that, we call resources. And in quotation marks, you have Azure RM underscore virtual underscore hub. And then in quotation marks again, we're going to name it. And this is, once again, the local Terraform name. I just decided to call it Terraform dash hub. We're going to have our curly brackets. And inside our curly brackets, we're going to have name. And in this case, um, it's, we're, it's the same. And like I said, this is the name we're going to use in Azure. So we just kept it the same, Terraform hub. That resource group name code and that location code, we can just copy it from above or anywhere else in the example that we already run. The virtual underscore WAN underscore ID is we're going to use that to specify the virtual WAN we just created. So virtual WAN underscore virtual underscore WAN underscore ID equals Azure RM underscore virtual underscore WAN dot Terraform dash WAN dot ID. And so there you go. So, that, so at that point, you reference your virtual WAN. And then the only thing we need to do now is to uh, specify the address space for this virtual WAN hub. And so for that, it's just address underscore prefix equals, and in quotation marks, you put the address space you want to use for your virtual WAN hub. So for here, I just made it 10.3.1.0 slash 24. You make sure your curly, your end curly brackets are there and you're done. So you have your virtual WAN and you have your virtual WAN hub. So you also have your VNets that you created in the previous file. So now we just connect everything together. Now to do that, we're going to do resources equals and our resources and in quotation marks, you're going to do Azure RM underscore virtual underscore hub underscore connection. And then here in quotation marks, it's just TBNet1. We're going to have our curly brackets. And then once again, we're going to name it. We're going to name this connection. And so we'll you'll just keep the name the same as TBNet1. Here, we're going to have our virtual hub ID, which we used which we just created. So virtual underscore hub underscore ID equals Azure RM underscore virtual underscore hub dot the name, which we just created, which is Terraform dash hub dot ID. And in here, 
we're going to reference the VNet that we want to connect to it, which is the VNet we created earlier in the other file. So to do that, it's remote underscore virtual underscore network underscore ID equals Azure RM underscore virtual underscore network dot the name of our Terraform VNet. So we just called it Terraform dash VNet one dot ID. Make sure your curly brackets are closed and there you go. You're ready to go. We can save this and we're all done. So we'll move back to our console. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that everything makes sense. So we're just going to run a Terraform plan. And we'll just let that run and it should show us exactly what we expect to see or what Terraform is going to run when it executes this file, these files. Okay. Now we can see, we can see from down here that Terraform is going to add six things to Azure. So let's count and see what those six things are. So the first thing we, we're creating is a resource group, that's one. We're creating a subnet, that's two. We're creating our Terraform, our virtual WAN hub for Terraform, that's three. We're, con we're creating our connection between our VNets and our hub, that's four. We're, connect we're creating our VNet, that is five and we're creating our WAN, which is six. And so, yes, those are the exact six things we want to create. So with that being said, we move from Terraform plan to Terraform apply. And we can run this code. Enter, everything's good. And so now we'll just let the code run. Okay, now that we're done that, um, we see that it created six things and created the six things we wanted to create. So let's just verify one more time that everything was created. So to do that, we'll just run a Terraform shell. We'll let that run. So here we can see the current state of the Terraform. So let's see if we can find the six things we created. So we have our resource group one, our subnet two, our tariff, our virtual hub three, our connection four, our VNet five, and our virtual WAN six. And so those are six things we needed. Those are six things we created and everything looks good. So that is how you create a virtual WAN hub and connect VNets using Terraform. Thank you.